Hello everyone, this is Mineral the Fan Wanos, known as Groomers Rocks, and today I'm continuing my walkthrough for One Piece Limited Adventure. Uh, I'm using my Dazzle for the Mac for this walkthrough, and there's going to be a problem because there's going to be a one uh, like a, like a one second lag. So just try to deal with it. Uh, it's been a long time since I continued this walkthrough. I just hope I'm doing a good job. Whatever. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah. Let's go to, uh. Number two. Loading screen. I find that funny how Luffy's using the gum gun gangling attack. Yeah. Wow, it's a really long loading screen, huh? Yeah, playing as Sanji. Uh, I'm just gonna go try to get to the third boss now, which is located in the uh, um, mysterious jungle. Yeah, so I'm well, gonna go up here, pickaxe, and you'll notice the one second lag right here. Yeah, see, so yeah, like he swings and not get the sound out until like after it happened. I don't like that, but otherwise it's perfect. And as you can see, I have too many items. Uh, we're gonna get a bigger bag later on. Let's go to Monkey D. Luffy, my favorite character in this game. Probably the most useful uh, when it comes to attacks. I mean, like, he's a really powerful attack, so I can do pure seconds. Um, and now, for you people who want to know, uh, in this game, yeah, you have to get a lot of uh, health health potions and uh, SP potions. I think the best person to use for that is Roar nor Zoro. I know I said it was Luffy before, but that's I found out that Zoro is like way better. Uh, he will learn new attacks that you can like get stuff from far away distances or something. So yeah, I'm in the jungle. Um, I'm just gonna go to the third boss and just like run through places. And yeah, that, that uh, that uh, red thing, I have to switch to Usopp to uh, use his long range weapons. Uh, I can use Zoro, but he has to learn an attack, and I'll have him. Um, well, he, he can get it from a far away distance, but I haven't learned the attack yet, so I can't really use it until I learn it, but I'll learn it very soon if I keep on training with him. Yeah. Bit, bitter grass is used to get the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, the. Health potions. So, yeah. I'm more calm in this walkthrough. Uh, in my previous walkthroughs, if something bad happened, I would start cursing, and I really don't want to do that. I apologize. Like, in my walkthrough, walk I was cursing nonstop. So, I'm going to try not to do that. I really don't want to curse him. Uh, so, I'm. You, I, I lose my temper. So yeah. But yeah, that bug is gonna be very useful in my playing walkthroughs, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I'll get that bug later. Yeah. There's nothing much to say. I'm just collecting ingredients for health potions and SP potions. I think this is the best place to get the, the ingredients. The best place, because you can just go out and in of this place and just keep coming back and you get the same stuff over and over again, so I think it's like the best place to get uh, items. Now what I've kind of well, what I found was weird about this area right here was that you can get bitter grass right here. And now when I do it later you can get bitter grass anymore. Oh uh, that's usually for HP potion, so I thought that was kinda of weird. And I to, and I'm gonna sneeze in about a couple seconds because my nose is getting a little bit drowsy. <coughs> yeah. I'm gonna sneeze like any second now. Oh, yeah, coming up. Am I still just try to ignore it? I can feel it coming on. There he goes. Please help me. It's a sigh relief. So, crap, another one's coming. Anyway. Yeah, now for Z you want to turn uh, to Zoro to get the long ivy, those like long vines up there, you want to use Zoro. 
So you get long vines. But yeah, these annoying bastards can't leave you alone. You see, you got long ivy. That's gonna be very useful for the bridge coming up. You have to build. And yeah. Clear glass is used to make SP potions, and you're gonna want a lot of that to use your powerful attacks against your enemies. So yeah. Um. The one thing I don't like about voiceovering this is that when I do it, uh, you hear my voice more than you hear the actual um, gameplay. So what I did is I turned the gameplay uh, video up to uh, double, so now it's like 200%, but you can probably hear me more than you can hear the volume, so that's why I'm trying to talk a little bit low, because uh, I want you to hear what's happening like in the previews and stuff. So yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot of walkthroughs, um, but I'm not going to try to talk about that. I'm going to talk about more about this game and all of its glory. Oh, crap. That hurt. See, Zoro, you can just wipe, like, you can, like, use all of your attacks, like, the standard attacks, Onigiri, and you can kick their ass so hard. And while I'm using these dash attack, I can't pronounce it because in the English, yeah, there it is. It's Tohoro or something. Okay, in the Japanese version, so we were, we were messed up in uh, and I just missed the break shot there, smart me. Uh, like I said, break shot is like, a, it, it, it pretty much doubles your attack power, but for only for one attack, and it only works once, so once you use it, it won't happen until like later on. Uh, it just happens randomly, but usually it takes forever. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so for your, you can just, like, unleash all of your attacks on your opponent, and they'll be dead in, like, a few seconds. Crap, my god, let's get these people. But yeah, don't use Usopp at close range. Use freaking Zoro. Kick some ass. Take this to the Yeah, I'm so enthusiastic right now. See, look at that. Just keep using the morning gear attack, and you'll kick ass. Oh my god, he's still alive? Okay, yeah, now he's dead. God, just keep using up his own area and he'll be murdering him. He'll be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, massacring him. Yeah, massacring him. Uh, I just want to make a quick reference to Halo 3. I hate it when people insult you on Xbox Live. It just makes you want to, like, go to, go, go to the house and, like, beat the living shit out of them. Um, oh my god, how many of these guys are there? Anyway, back to the Halo 3 reference. Massacring. Uh, I hate it when people say, I raped you in a game. Because it makes you sound like a freaking, uh, sex offender. Um, and I like to use words that actually mean something. Like, I never use the word, I raped you. It sounds like you actually did rape them, and that's very bad. So, like, there was this one guy who said, I raped you in this battle. And I said, oh, buddy, are you, are you proud of that? That was an insult. I mean, oh, you sex offender? Because, yeah, it's bad to rape. So, I use, like, terms of, like, massacring. Because you're actually being a living... You're, like, you're, you're beating them by so... Like, probably, like, 20 kills. You're, you're just massacring... Them. I think massacring uh, is a better term for uh, Halo 3 than raping. I really don't think I would never use the term I raped you in that battle. I mean, it just sounds wrong, and it sounds like you're a freaking sex offender, have no life, and sit home in the basement and do like watch porn every day. Uh, like, and, and massacring isn't good too. I mean, massacring means like murder the guy, you get all those organs, watch him bleed slowly. The kill only was a lot. Slaughter. Um, but in Halo 3, massacring, I think it's a much better term than you. I mean, you can only say massacring if you actually kicked your uh, your opponent's ass. Like, if it was like 50 to 7, you massacred them. But if it was like 50 to 49, don't see you massacred them, because it was a very close game. But, yeah, I just hate when people say I raped you, because it sounds so freaking wrong, and it sounds like they're a fucking sex offender. Or child abuse, I mean, uh, child offender, or whatever you call them. Uh, yeah, so, I just hate when people say, I raped you in a battle. It just sounds really stupid and wrong. Let's get back to One Piece. Uh, they're coming out a new game, One Piece Unlimited Adventure. I cannot wait for that game to come out. It's going to be kick-ass. And I especially can't can't wait to play as Waffle. That's going to be, like, the best. 